up guys, it's Rob, and welcome to my tutorial for the... Super Compass Star! I'm gonna have some top comments that you guys left me in the last video at the end of this tutorial, so be sure to check them out. If you do wind up liking this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up below, and subscribe and push the notification bell so you get all notifications from my channel. Here's Leela, for those of you who are wondering. The Super Compass Star is a very simple 8-pointed ninja star that is made up of 4 modular units. This is definitely one of the easiest ninja stars that i ever made. I'll show you how you can make a big one and a small one, but the small one flies a lot better, so I would recommend using this one if you're going to throw it. I'm going to be using red and blue printer paper just like this, but you can use any color you like. So grab your paper and let's get started. One square will make two modular units, so grab one sheet and take the upper right corner and align the top edge with the left side edge. Once the two edges are aligned, make a crease all the way throughout, flip the paper over, and fold the top edge down until the folded edge meets up with that edge we just folded on the other side. Then crease it with your fingernail and tear the excess paper off. Now we're going to tear the paper along this diagonal line, so we could fold the paper in the opposite direction and crease it. And now we just have to make a small tear at the corner here, and then we can tear both pieces apart. Now you're going to have two triangles, and we just need one to make one of the modular units. To make the smaller modular unit, we're just going to take this corner and fold the paper in half to meet this corner, just like this. If you're going to make the smaller ninja star, this is the piece of paper that you're going to start with. To make the modular unit, we're going to take both of these edges here and fold them down onto the bottom edge here. We'll start out by doing the right side. So take the right edge here and we're going to fold it down onto the bottom edge. Once this edge meets with this edge like this, then we can make a crease. You don't necessarily have to crease it all the way up here, but I'm going to do it because it makes things a little bit easier. So don't really crease it too hard towards the top here but you crease it all the way through like that. Then you can open it up and do the same with this side. And then you can make a crease. So when you open up the paper, you should have something that looks just like this. You're going to need to pop this out here. What we're going to do is we're going to first fold these two edges down onto the bottom edge like this. Then we're going to walk our fingers up to the middle here. We're actually going to bring these two edges together. Grab these two edges, and you're going to make sure that this becomes a point right there. So you want to basically fold these two edges until they touch each other like this. Then just crease it down until you get down to this edge right here of the paper. Again, I just took the two edges, I folded them down and walked my fingers up until I had that point, and made sure that these two edges were aligned. So it's going to look something like this. Now I'm going to take these two points and I'm going to fold them down like this. And I'm going to make sure that these two tips line up. So hold it there in place with your right hand and then you could basically just crease all the way up to this corner. And you also want to crease here in the middle. So just hold it there and just kind of flatten your hand out and smooth it out. And there you go. That's how to make one of the modular units. If we open up the modular unit, you'll see that these two are valley folds. The middle point to the top is also a valley fold. However, the bottom edge here to the middle point is a mountain fold, so it closes just like this. Just remember, with the smaller unit, you do have two layers here, but you have to kind of pretend that they're glued together, okay? Same thing, edge, edge, down to the bottom edge. So fold the right edge down to the bottom and crease throughout, and fold the left edge down to that bottom edge and crease. The right and left edges go down to the bottom, and then make sure that the top two edges are touching while you make that point and crease it all the way down to the center. Then you could just flatten everything out, and you should have something that looks like this. Now we can make the other three modular units. Same thing, edge to edge, and then you can just fold it down and pinch the top, flatten it out. Do the same thing with the other two. I just want you to put the four pieces just like this, so that the bottom corner is in the bottom left side of the whole entire piece. So it looks like a check, right? The bottom edge looks like a check. Now, we're going to add them in sequential order, like this. So it's going to be, the blue is going to add to this one, red to this one, and then the blue to this one, okay? Each consecutive piece is going to be 90 degrees clockwise to the last piece. Starting out with this one, if you look at this top edge, it's flat. 
this one's flat in the same position. So this one has to go 90 degrees clockwise like this. Now, the next piece is going to be 90 degrees clockwise to this one's position. So if we put it in that one's position and then spin it 90 degrees clockwise, just like this, this edge will be facing to the bottom, the opposite of what this one is. Now we're just rotating them. So this is the last piece. So it's basically going to be 90 degrees clockwise to the last piece's position, that one. So it's gonna look like this, and then we're gonna spin it 90 degrees clockwise. So that's gonna be the position of the pieces in order to join them. Let's start with the first two here. We'll take this one. When you're adding a piece, the piece that you're adding, the tips are going to go on the outside of the last piece's flaps. So these tips are gonna go on the outside of the red ones. So you take the red one, slide it in here, and just make sure that this flat edge, when you lift it up, it's gonna stop right there at the corner because of this little inside pocket here. So just bring it up to the top, and then you could slide the blue piece to the left until it stops right along this crease that we made. Remember that? There's a crease right here, and that corner is gonna stop right on the end. Now, we're going to join the red piece, the next red piece. And remember when you're joining it, the flaps of the piece you're joining are going to go on the outside of the last piece. So just put it like this on the blue piece. Both of the flaps go on the outside of the blue piece's flaps like this. And now this flat edge is going to get stopped right at this corner. And then you can slide it up like that. Now the last piece looks like this. All right, the corner's on the bottom right like that. The last piece, you're adding a piece, so the flaps are going to go on the outside of the last piece you just added right here, like that. However, the tips need to go on the inside of the first piece, okay? So it needs to go over the last piece into the first piece. So what I like to do is basically just open this up a little bit to make it easier for yourself, like that. And now, I would hold it on the last one like this, and then the flaps go on the outside of the red piece into the other red piece, just like this. Okay, so that's the top one. Now flip it over, and you're gonna do the same on this side. And now once the both tips are in, remember, it looks just like this. You can just slide them through, and then push everything together. I would just take the tips on one end, and take the opposite tips, and pull them, and then do the same with the blue tips. Just pull them like that. All right, so, whoop. <laughs> so everything is not joined up yet. It's sliding. All right, you might have a similar issue. But what we're going to do now, just hold everything nice and firm in the middle here like this. We're going to take the top flap, all right, the top flap of the two, and we're going to crease it along the edge here like this. Crease it, make a crease, and then you're going to unfold it and you're going to tuck it into this pocket. So just bend it, tuck it into the pocket along that crease that we made and then close it. So now only one of these tips is going to be sticking out of that pocket. And then just do the same here. The top tip goes on the edge, you fold it and then you tuck it into the red pocket. Then you take the red tip, fold it onto the blue edge and then you tuck it into the blue pocket. Blue goes down and then you tuck it into the red one. And there you go. Once you're done, just flatten everything out. And if you hold it like this, so the two points are north and two points are east and west, it looks like a compass rose. North, east, south, west. Northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest. As far as throwing it, like I said, the bigger one doesn't fly as well as the smaller ones. If you hold it like this with the pocket facing towards you, that's about the best it'll do. With this one, you can either flick it like a frisbee or throw it overhand, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, not bad. Thank you guys so much for the support and I hope you enjoyed the video. So I kind of want to switch it up. For my next tutorial, do you guys want to see how to make a boomerang that flies like this? Or maybe how to juggle. Or I could show you how to make a great guacamole. Or possibly some abstract art that's really cool. Let me know, leave me a comment in the comment section. And whoever gets the highest thumbs up, I'll do that tutorial. Now you can give Leela a treat. Hey sweetheart, 
They haven't seen you in a while. Here's a treat. Mira.